Hello, today we are going back to Swindon. Maybe it'll be sunny today in Swindon, who knows? Probably not. To the National Self Build Centre, and um, we're going to a Graven Hill presentation uh, where hopefully they're going to reveal some more plot details, um, the actual plot passports as they call them will have the details of plot sizes and but at least we'll have hopefully finally some some concrete details not literally um, but some firm details of what we're actually potentially buying if we went that route so Hannah's rolling herself up ready to go it's the Hairs. downside of having a cat hairs everywhere so we're on the road We'll hopefully take some footage when we get there. We arrived at the National Self Build Renovation Centre in Swindon and just to prove that sometimes it is sunny in Swindon there is the sun over there somewhere. and there's blue skies. Um, so we're here as we said for the Graven Hill event. You see some Graven Hill branding on the uh, things, the banners. So we'll go in, get our uh, little scanny thing probably, and see what's going on. So we've arrived at the self build centre, we're inside, we've done our registration process. Um, so we just had a quick chat with Phil from Graven Hill, uh, who actually recognised us from the blog, which is uh, quite good. Uh, so hopefully he did say that he'll have a little chat with us um, after presentation, so we'll hold him to that. Um, so I think the presentation for Graven Hill is at 11.30, so we've got about an hour to wait for that. Um, I suppose in the meantime we'll have a coffee and um, let's have a bit of a browse round, see what's going on. There we go, that seems alright. You may need a slightly bigger watch <laughs> than a dinner plate. By the way. Right, OK. We've arrived at the National Self Build Renovation Centre in Swindon. Um, we did actually take some footage outside to show that it does sometimes, you get sunshine in Swindon. You do? You get blue sky. I've, I've been told. It's true. Um, and we bumped into Phil Hugh. Phil Hugh from the Raven Hill um, Development um, Company. That's right. Um, so nice to meet you. And you? Um, obviously, we're quite excited. We've been looking at the Raven Hill Development for quite a while and we're very interested. And we're serious about potentially building there. Um, so we've come here today and you'll make a presentation about sort of the next stage. Is that we right? are, that's right. What we're going to do, we're releasing some enhanced plot passports, which gives okay. people more of a licence to build at Graven Hill. Uh, gives people more information to make sure that they're making the right decision, but also shows how much easier it is to build at Graven Hill for self-build, because we're taking away a lot of the problems that the kind of people who want to build, who come to the self-build centre, the kind of problems they'd experience getting out of the ground, getting the foundation sorted, getting the utility sorted. We're showing people in real detail how we're taking all those problems away. Yeah, so one of the biggest problems people have, apart from finding a plot in the first place, is then getting planning permission. Correct. And as I understand it, at Raven Hill, um, it'd be much easier to design the house that you want. Um, there won't be such strict planning for restrictions. You'll need to go through a form of planning. Uh, we've got something called a local development order. And essentially what that does, if you comply with the local development order, our design code, which I know you'll have read, that's on our website, uh, and also the plot passport, which essentially is the specifics of what you need to comply with on that plot that you're purchasing. Yeah. If you can comply with those things, all you need to do is submit that to us, and within 28 days, yeah. the local planning authority will grant you your planning permission. Yeah. So that truncates the... Um, normal time it takes to get planning very 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 quickly yeah um, so what we've done is told it, the onus is on you to comply with it yeah rather than constantly go back to planning and say will you accept this yes no will you accept that yes no as long as you comply yeah. we'll be able to uh, go ahead and you can start building the home of your dreams fantastic and i sort of envisage there'll be quite a, a range of styles of houses as absolutely. well so there won't just be one specific type of house absolutely correct places. it's not a traditional um builder's uh, development because we've got the design code as I touched on and there are different areas of the site that have low medium and high design freedom yeah. we've got different color palettes different material palettes and again that's all in the plot the improved plot passport yeah. so again we're going to be able to hand you something today to say if you comply with all these things build yeah. it out of this 
take these material pallets and agree on that plot, yeah. you'll be able to build that home. Fantastic. Okay. And in terms of the rough time scale, I don't know you're going to be sort of yeah. announcing these sure. sort of things today. It's one key date that we've got, and whatever else happens, that's our absolute target, which is we want people to get onto site by July 2017. Yeah, okay. That's with a plot that we've designed and got ready to build their foundation, and they can come and build the house that they want on top of it. Okay. So in July 2017, the foundation will be ready. Correct. You turn up with your build. Um, Ready to technology, go. Technology, whatever it's going yes. to be, and off you go. Off you, you go. Started. Okay. And with some of the things that we've seen uh, here at the Self Build Centre, um, some of the methods of construction should be, can be so fast that just a few months after that, people will be living in their own property. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Okay, well, we look forward to the presentation, and um, obviously, we're quite excited about the opportunity that it provides. So, thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Take care. So we're in the um, presentation Start theatre, okay. starting at half eleven. Um, Phil's getting ready to do his presentation. Um, we've got tea and coffee. I've managed to spill my coffee all down my my front. Um, so yeah, should be interesting to see what we learn today. I suppose this is at least better than being stood in a freezing cold field in Vista. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we learn. So we just sat down for the presentation, which was um, quite good. We got some a bit more information. We had some there was some drone footage of the site, which gave us a little bit um, of a better view of what's going on. Um, so we're just going to sit down. They have provided us some lunch. looks good um, so yeah we'll sit down have some lunch they've given us some more plot details so we'll have a look through those and um, maybe we'll have another opportunity um, after lunch to ask some more questions because we didn't really get a chance in, in there so yeah have some lunch right okay so we've had the Graven Hill presentation and uh, just wandering out the building and bumped into Harvey Fremlin who is What's your role? Uh, managing it? director. Managing director of the National Self Build and Renovation Centre. Uh, so we've had a quick chat and I thought, why don't we just film what we're actually talking about? Because it's quite useful and interesting. So, Harvey, hello. Hi, Welcome Dean. to How the blog. Hi. Um, so, the, the National Self Build and Renovation Centre is obviously um, a good destination if you're self building. Um, what's, the, what's the normal reason when people come here? Um, so we're an independent centre and we're the only UK's only permanent visitor centre in the country for people that are doing self-build or large-scale renovations and the main reason why people come here is for independent advice and information. Yeah. Um, so we were just chatting about how uh, the experience here is quite a soft seller um, there's no pressure from, from yeah. exhibitors and, and from manufacturers. We're really uh, geared towards giving people really good advice yes. uh, and so really helping them make the right buying decisions as they go through their self-build journey. Yeah. And you you sort of run self-build courses as well, I understand. Yeah, yeah we do. We've been doing a three-day self-build course for about eight years now, which okay. has proven really popular. Um, and that will cover all of the, the fundamentals uh, before you start going through your, your journey of a self-build. Yeah. Um, if you want to actually be on site project managing a build yourself, it's perfect for that. Yeah. But if you just want a bit more knowledge and say you feel a bit more confident when you're either buying materials or talking yeah. to tradespeople yeah. or dealing with professionals like architects or project managers, yeah. it just gives you that... Um, that degree of confidence really and yeah i think as we we've never done anything like this before so it's quite daunting to think that we're going to have to speak to builders and architects and yeah. try to understand all this in quite a short space of time yeah. so i can see the appeal of that and you mentioned sort of one of the advantages of of the center here is that it's not a hard sell you can wander around at your own pace um and just sort of take it all in really yeah no, that's it. I mean, so the centre's open six days a week, Tuesday to Sunday, uh, and for the majority of the time, the, the exhibition stands that we have here, and we've got about 250 companies kind of showing their wares, their services. Yeah. Uh, they're unmanned, so it's quite a relaxed atmosphere. We've got our own team working on the help desk, so you yeah. can get free advice and information from them, but then you're left to your own devices, really, and hopefully you do yeah. find it quite relaxing. Um, we do shows and workshops where we do invite the exhibitors to come along. Yeah. Um, we, we were saying what tends to happen is they actually tend to send quite technically-minded people 
yes. uh, to work on the stands rather than you know just a, a, a set and normal salesperson. Because when you, you'll, you'll be discovering as you're going through a self build journey, you really do your research. You want to find out about um, the performance levels of various products and the pros mm. and cons of you know one system against another. So it's really about giving people that advice uh, and, and that uh, level of information really, so you can make the right decisions. Yeah, and there's there's actually a full scale house here as well that you can actually walk around the whole thing. Yeah, which is quite impressive. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. So that's the Ruskin House by Potten. Over the back corner there. <laughs> Um, and so that is a completely finished uh, show home inside and out and that's sort of showcasing what a package company like Potton would be able to provide for yeah. you um, we also have a renovation house as well which looks slightly different to that so that's um, like a 1920s property and as you walk through it we deconstruct it we talk about all of the structural issues that you have with that and then the internet is put right back into a, a nice uh, family home that someone wants to live in yeah. and as you're going around if there aren't sort of people on the stands for example what's the best way to sort of get the information you want from them um, so we have a uh, quite a nifty kind of barcode scanning system here so as a visitor you arrive at reception we take a few contact details from you then we just ask a couple of questions about your project so what stage are you at are you at early stages still looking for a plot of land are you already going through planning roughly um, what your budget is so we get a nice picture of who you are what you're doing we then give you a barcode scanner so a bit like if you go to Waitrose or Tesco and you're scanning your own produce and then you are left to scan uh, the companies and products that you're actually interested in hearing back from and then our exhibitors will contact you within kind of normally seven to ten working days, either by post or email, as you've kind of preferred, really. Um, so it's quite a nice thing. You don't have to end up with bags full of brochures and leaflets yeah. as you're walking around, yeah. and you get all the information sent directly to you. Yeah. Great. OK, Harvey, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. And also, there's a nice little tea shop where you can get a cup of tea and a coffee, and probably a cake, if that's what you do. And you can pick up some self-build magazines as well. There's copies of Build It magazine that you can pick up. So, yeah, it's a great resource. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so back in the car, ready for the drive home. Um, so we did have a good day today at the NB National self Build Renovation Centre. I can remember the name, but just not the acronym for some reason. Um, and we had a good chat there with, with Harvey, um, which was nice to bump into him. Um, and good to learn a bit more about the centre and all of that. So, yeah. Um, so we've got a bit more to think about, we've got a bit more information about Graven Hill which we'll go through when we get home and uh, looking forward to roast lamb this evening for dinner in case you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs>